What's going on with y'all, fam? Back with another message, back with another video. Y'all tap in, tune in, lock in, smash the like button, press subscribe, hit the notification bell. I appreciate all the new subs, all the support, all the love, all the comments, man. I can't get back to each and every one of you guys on the comment section lately, but I promise I will be responding to the best of my abilities, and I cannot thank you guys enough. If you haven't heard my music yet, I have music available on all platforms. A playlist on here, um, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, um, pretty much any platform besides SoundCloud. And I have my latest album, Hidden Hills, out now. If you haven't heard it, it's nine tracks. Just give me a chance. You know, throw me on when you're working. If you're at the gym, going out for a walk. If you're having a low moment, if you're cruising in the car, I would just appreciate it, man. And for everybody that's been showing me mad love, I can't thank you guys enough, man. I put a lot of time and effort into it. And it's just another way that God uses me to, um, you know, help, help help the body out every day so i appreciate you guys man this is a vital video right here this one right here is long overdue shout out to mark the messenger you know for inspiring this he just dropped a video that um made me want to do my own little testimony about you know what god has done for me in regards to what how porn and masturbation is destroying your life man for a long time y'all a very long time I had an addiction to the websites. Mine started very, very early. I was 10 years old, man, 10 years old. And I had an addiction for 15, 18 years to the websites, man. Absolutely will destroy your life. And I'm gonna list some things off on what it does to you and how badly it affects you and how they make it seem like it's normal and it's an agenda behind it, why they normalize this stuff. This stuff is free and it will absolutely destroy you as a man, right? I'm speaking on behalf of men. It will kill your desire for doing anything when it comes to, you know, um, knowing God. You will lose interest in reading, spending time with God, fasting, doing spiritual work. It takes all of that out of you. The more that you're consuming these sites, the more that you're out here doing that behind closed doors, you are opening doors up to the demonic realm and it is stripping your desire away for righteousness and pleasing and getting to know the most high God. This is what I was stuck in, man, for years and years and years. It will consume your entire life. It strips your confidence. It strips everything out of you, man. You start to yoke up with things that are demonic, with things that are not of the most high, with things that want to take up all your time. Lust wants to consume all your time and wants to consume every thought. And the more that you open these doors up, you're starting to begin to realize that you start becoming yoked up, spiritual spouses. You know, the websites, man, it's basically a portal. I've seen some things, right? I had to go real low, God had to, um, Thank God that he set me free from it, right? God broke me free from it about four or five months ago now. You know, completely done. Finally, like, laid it down for good. I'm never going back to the sites ever again, right? You'll start to see spiritual things when you're consumed in this, when you're in the cycle of watching these sites and doing this stuff. You'll start to see it as, like, boring, a hard task just to read, to fast, to pray. Why? Because you're drained. You're yoked up to demonic things. You're yoked up to the flesh. You're yoked up to lust. You're, you're yoked up to things that are all about pleasure. Pleasure, 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 right? And, and lust is something that you can never satisfy, man. It's always hungry. It's always going to ask for more. It's going to want more of your time. It's going to want more of your thoughts. It's going to want more of every area of your life. And slowly but surely, it'll destroy you. It'll destroy your relationships. It'll destroy your friendships. It'll destroy your confidence. It'll destroy your creativity. It'll destroy every area of your life subtly. And this stuff is available for free. Anybody can access it. Why do you think that is, man? It's an agenda, right? It's an agenda to take out men, you know, God-fearing men. You know, what a biblical man is supposed to look like. And for a long time, I was stuck in this, man, ever since I was a kid, you know, and it destroyed so many areas of my life. And I didn't realize it until I started to get into relationship with Christ and he showed me this stuff, man. It will isolate you from others, right? It can isolate you from others and stop your ability to form healthy, intimate relationships with other people, women, men, 
right? You will, um, you'll just feel guilty all the time, right? Especially if you are a child of God and you're out here in these sin cycles, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna feel that guilt, right? And and if you're not careful, you can become reprobated. You can become, you know, to where you're not feeling that as much anymore. But you won't desire. Um, healthy intimate relationships the more that you're in these sin cycles all you're gonna want to do is get your next fix the lust right you're not gonna um, be able to form what is known as a healthy bond and relationship with anybody including God including self right transparency is not going to be something that you're gonna be able to do because you are feeling that guilt for what you're doing behind closed doors communication is going to become um something that seems like a task right because the lust of the flesh is just wanting to take up every second of every day you know and depending on how bad your addiction is how many times a week you're watching this stuff how many times you know a day you're watching this stuff it can get serious man now isolation from this stuff is completely different from isolation when god's working on you but when you are consumed in these sin cycles, man, you're going to realize, you know, you're going to start spending more time on the websites than you spend with anybody else around you, even including your relationship with God. Like I said, you won't communicate to him anymore. You're not going to treasure um, the blessings and, and the things he has to offer you. All you're going to be able to do is is um, submit to the flesh, submit to these demonic strongholds that get built up. Right. You start to um, serve the flesh. You become a man that's after the flesh instead of a man that's after the spirit of God. It removes your motivation to pursue your passions in life. Yes, man, you're going to feel drained, bro. You are going to feel so drained all the time, right? You're not going to want to um, start any new hobbies. You're not going to, maybe you're talented and gifted in certain areas, whatever already, but you don't feel motivated to do it, right? Because you're escaping into your fantasy world of lust. You're escaping into the sights. You're escaping. Even if it's not the sights, you're escaping into what women you're going to sleep with next. Right? That's not your wife. Self-gratification. Easy, quick fixes. Right? It teaches you to have a quick fix instead of diligently doing work. Right? Getting passionate. You know, your desires for anything outside of accessing the computer and the internet are going to become little to none. Right? You, you, all you're going to want to do is... Um, lust after these women out here man it's an agenda a huge agenda they want everyone out here addicted to these sites they want everybody out here single and mingling they want everybody out here yoked up to demonic things to the lust of the flesh they don't want to see marriage right they don't want to see um men and women of god both talented motivated successful passionate purposeful they want to see you drained fulfilling the lust of the flesh giving away your um your purity right they don't want you out here seeking god they don't want you out here in the secret place they want you out here yoked up with all this stuff man that they're pushing forward that the enemy has clearly you know um he's he's made it free to everybody for a reason right this stuff is free everywhere you go free 99 anywhere you look online offline it's everywhere promiscuity and all this stuff man and for me you know, that's where I was at. I was in a constant cycle, man, of just being drained, not motivated. I've been passionate and um, talented with music since I was probably 15 years old. But the more I was consumed in these sites, I didn't have the motivation to uh, do the music. I didn't have the motivation to do this, you know, this platform, these videos. I didn't have the motivation to read my word. I didn't have the, um, you know, the, my, my appetite was for the flesh. Why? Because I had these strongholds that were building up and I was feeding it. The more you feed it, man, that's why you got to starve out your flesh. You got to starve out these um distractions and these sights and all these things. These these worldly women, these modern women, all this stuff, you got to starve these things out so they begin to die off. Self-deliverance, like I did a message, the power of God is within you. This is a diligent daily walk. You got to learn how to starve these things out. If you don't, right, these things are going to begin to happen. You're going to become a weak vessel, man. A weak vessel, purposeless, passion, passionless, no desire to seek out God's will for your life. Right? Things of the of of God are gonna become the seem like they're gonna seem like it's a, a task, right? You're gonna be like, man, 
right? You're not going to get excited anymore about what God wants to do and the things he has for you because you're yoked up to these demonic things, right? The websites, Jezebel women, succubus, these spirits, man. The fifth thing, man, it's going to make you lazy, <laughs> irritated, irritable, lazy, angry, short, right? Um, if something doesn't go your way once or twice, you know, it's a rewiring of the brain. Why? Because this stuff teaches you how to have instant gratification, right? It, it teaches you to, um, it's that dopamine fix. And the more that you are um, doing this stuff, you know, you're frying, you're frying those areas of your brain. Your brain is so used to getting it so quickly and so easy. So everything else is going to become extremely hard for you to do. Even simple, small stuff. This is where I was at. Working out, going for a walk. You know what I'm just little stuff, getting up, self-care, cleaning your diet up, praying, reading. These things are going to seem like an impossible task the more that you are out here watching these websites and just, you know, giving this sexual energy away to anything and everything that is not your spouse. Right. You're going to you're going to get so unfocused and everything. You're going to become so irritable, man. And God has to retrain you, man. So when you first repent, it's, it's a diligent process. I'm going through it myself still. We all have to go through it, right? The longer that you um, deny yourself, the longer that you abstain, the longer that you hold on to this stuff, the easier it gets. Why? Because you're starving this stuff off. It's starting to die, right? It's starting to die. You got to kill this stuff off of you. See, a lot of people repent and they go two weeks and they, they encounter a wet dream here or they encounter some demonic, you know, um, temptations or thoughts. You know, the devil comes back around to see, you know, try to give you a little fix again and you fall right back into it. You know, and then you repeat the cycle again. This is where I was at, man, for so long. Like I said, since the age of 10 years old, and I can be honest, you know, and it made me, you know, um, it made me feel like everything should just come easy to me, right? Because my dopamine receptors were fried. I was yoked up to the flesh. I was so, it was so just... I was so used to just getting pleasure whenever I needed it or wanted it. I could turn on the websites, man. I could hit this chick up and, and get the picture and get this and that. You know what I'm saying? And this is what happens, man. This is some stuff that's... And it, it'll destroy you. It'll destroy who you are as a, as a person, as a whole, man. I was completely destroyed. You know, God is finally giving me breakthrough. He's renewing me. He's transforming me. I'm still not where I need to be, but I, I'm way better than where I was. You know what I'm saying? So the more we deny ourselves, man, the more that we, you got to stop watching this stuff, dude. I'm telling you, it, it makes you weak as, in every area of your life. God has so much more to offer you as a man. It'll steal all your time. That's number seven, man. It steals all of your time. Everywhere you go, you can't, you can't help but to look at women now with lust everywhere you go, right? The websites are calling. The websites are calling. Oh, this chick over here, that chick over there. Stealing all your time. Time that you could be spending with the most high. Time that you could be spending, you know, doing healthy, positive things. Taking action in your life. Purpose, passions, all these different things. Right? Reading, praying, fasting, seeking God. You know, understanding what your purpose is. What his purpose is in your life. His will for your life. All these things. You ain't gonna have no time for it. Because the websites are calling. The lust is calling. The succubus spirit is calling. These Jezebels are calling right it'll breed self-loathing and insecurity that's number eight man yes you will become very insecure right even if you're already struggling with insecurity it'll make you even more insecure why because like i said you feel dirty it's a natural thing right we're not supposed to be doing this stuff this stuff was never supposed to be normal man you're gonna start feeling low about yourself you may not have as much confidence anymore It'll take all that out of you. You'll feel real insecure about who you are. You know, and like I said, when you first repent, depending on how long you were in these cycles for, man, it's going to take diligent work. You know, you got to endure through the things that come, you know, after you decide to repent. It's a rewiring that needs to happen of the brain, the mind, right? And the way that that happens is you begin to seek out God's word in his face and you endure you know, and he'll start to give you breakthroughs. He'll start to restore your confidence. You won't feel any um, as insecure anymore. You'll be able to walk around with your head up. You'll be able to, um, you know, get into your passions and your purpose. And, and, and when you tap into purpose, you really start to develop that confidence in, in Christ, right? Not in self, but in Christ and what, he's can, what he can do for you in your life. But it'll breed 
feelings of insecurity, the more that you continuously go back to these sites, the more that you continuously, you know, seek after women in, to, in a lustful manner, trying to hook up, right? And just freely um, yoke up to all this stuff, man. You got to understand how serious this stuff is, man. It's not just a um, transaction that should be taken lightly. You know, it's not just a physical transaction that goes on when you do this stuff. It's a spiritual one. You start sharing, you know, spiritual things, whether people want to understand that or not. You start yoking up to this person's demons now. That woman that you're watching online, you could potentially yoke up to the demons that are within her, right? These sites and stuff are portals, man. So you got to be careful. You don't want to yoke up to this stuff. It's more than just a physical transaction that's going on. It's more than you just spilling your seat and feeling great. Now you're yoked up to the spirit of succubus and it's gonna torment you for however long, right? It's gonna continuously bug you, want all your time from you, strip away your confidence. All these things I've listed off, right? Another thing is gonna, it'll create an unstable longing, right? You're gonna, you're gonna want unobtainable sexual pleasure while your thoughts become uncontrollable. Oof, I gotta say that again, man. It will create an unstable longing for unobtainable sexual pleasure while your thoughts become uncontrollable. The more you feed lust, the more it wants. The more that you feed lust, the more it wants. You used to watch websites once a day, now you're watching them twice. You used to watch them three times a day, now you're watching them six times a day. You used to watch them 20 times a week, you're watching them 40 times a week, right? You're gonna want it all the time, the more that you feed it, because lust is something that you cannot satisfy. Right? And the more that you develop these things, the more the spiritual transactions you're committing, you're not gonna you're gonna lose control over your own mind. You're not gonna understand what it means to submit yourself to the most high God and his word. You're not gonna be able to take every thought captive. You're just gonna think that, you know, maybe this is God telling me this, or maybe um I should just fall back into it. Why? Because I had this thought everywhere you go, right? There was a point in my life where I was so consumed in this stuff, I couldn't go anywhere without fighting off a lustful temptation or thought an intrusive thought that would ultimately get me to go back to the sites or back to a woman that was not my wife this is why the bible speaks about taking every thought captive and submitting every um imagination unto the most high god doesn't mean that i still don't go through intrusive thoughts here and there doesn't mean that i don't get a um sexual temptation here and there 100 percent, i do i'm a man that's wrapped in flesh but i know what to do now i'm not gonna feed it i'm gonna starve it out i'm gonna take heed right to the word of God and his ways of living. That's what he wants for all of us, man. You know, like I said, it's gonna create an unstable longing for unobtainable sexual pleasure. You're never gonna feel satisfied the more that you get consumed in this stuff. You're never gonna be satisfied. More and more and more and more and more. Why? Because you're developing a stronghold. It's like feeding something. What's gonna happen? It's only gonna get bigger, right? It's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it's gonna want more and more and more. That's the same thing with lust. And lust is never, ever satisfied or fulfilled. That's why the Bible's huge on not walking in the ways of the flesh, right? The lust of the flesh is death. God wants us to walk in the spirit, man. You can't walk in the spirit when you're out here yoked up to 30 different women that are not your wife, to a um, hundred different, you know, sites or whatever, the videos, all this stuff, man. And you, all you can think is in your dreams. When you wake up, you think about it. When you're out in public, you're thinking about it. When you're driving, wherever you're at work, it's all because lust, you're yoked up to lust now, right? And you're never going to, um, it's unobtainable to satisfy it. You're going to, you're going to constantly be feeding it for the rest of your life if you don't put a stop to it, right? And the only true way to get breakthrough and have a stop, um, you know, for, or be able to stop is submitting yourself to the most high god and understanding that you know recognizing like okay this is a problem right this is a stronghold this is something that i need help with god right we can't do it on our own strength we need his word we need christ he's the one that can set us free from all of this stuff man you know and he wants to renew the mind like i said your thoughts are going to become uncontrollable when you're out here just consumed in lust 24 7. A lot of people hit me up and say, man, I'm getting a lot of intrusive thoughts. I'm getting a lot of lustful things going on, you know, and um, I just, I know what it's like. I've been there so many times. Like I said, I was addicted to this stuff since the age of 10. And until I actually say, Lord, I need you, 
I understand this is a problem. I understand this isn't right. And I began to do the diligent work, which is what? Reading, praying, fasting, seeking his face, denying myself, enduring. When those things try to come back up, killing his flesh, allowing God to do self-deliverance. I'm like me doing self-deliverance through the word of God, through diligent work. I, I was stuck, man. I was stuck trying to fulfill the flesh all the time. It was never satisfied. No matter how many times I watched a website, no matter how many times me and a woman hooked up or me and a woman exchanged pictures, I was it was never satisfied, right? It'll dehumanize you, man. It blinds you to humanity and the dignity of a woman. That's a fact, man. I can be open and honest. A lot of men see women for one thing and one thing only out here. Same with women too. I'm not gonna speak on behalf of women though, but. It'll dehumanize people. You don't you don't see people for their spirit no more. You don't see that woman for um, who she is in Christ. You just see that woman for what she's got to offer, you know, on the physical. That's what these websites do to you, man. Dehumanizes things. It's just like, it's just it's all about satisfying the, the the lust of the flesh. Nothing more to it, right? You don't you don't see you won't be able to see people for their spirit. You won't be able to recognize, um, you know, who's who. All you can see is the physical. That's what the lust of the flesh wants you to, um, that's how the lust of the flesh wants you to move out here, man. Right? It wants us to focus on, you know, just the um, outward. You know, it'll dehumanize you, man. It'll blind you to humanity. You may, you may even, you know, it'll strip you of, it'll destroy you, bro. I'm not, I can't make this up. It'll take away your empathy. It'll take away so much depending on how long you've been out here consumed in this stuff. It'll open doors to things, Right? That you that 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 might just get out of hand, right? You might you might start to develop um, fantasies and stuff like that. You when you watch these sites, and I'm just keeping it real, man. You know, you start thinking that what you're watching on that video should be a, a reality, right? When 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 you aren't satisfied anymore from just watching these videos, you try to make these videos become your reality. And this is what destroys relationships. This is what destroys, you know, dehumanizes things, makes things a fantasy world. These websites are vicious, man. They're vicious. You know, we got to break the cycle. And the only way to do that, like I said, is a true place of repentance and surrender until I fully said, Lord, I am done and I need your help. I cannot do this on my own. And he started to really get in. I got into relationship with him. That was the only way I was able to be set free and see breakthrough, right? This stuff will literally want, you know, these websites can begin to make you want to um, act on what you're seeing, right? You're watching this video, there's this happening, there's that happening, and you think that this should be a reality now. Man, I have testimony on this, unfortunately. You know, sadly, I do, you know. And when, when, the, when the sites aren't satisfying you no more, like I said, you're going to want that to become a reality. You know, this is how people develop, like... I'm just keeping the G on this video, man. This is how people develop fetishes and stuff like this. Like, you know, watching these sites, thinking that this is real. A lot of this stuff is, is, is dude, it's, it's an agenda, man. It's an agenda, right? To, you know, strip all this out of the men and get women, you know, um, on their own thing with it too. I'm not speaking on behalf of a woman because there are women that struggle with it too, but it's mostly, you know, a lot of males have this issue. And this is an issue that I had to really um, reflect on in my life, take accountability for, and surrender myself to God, you know? And until I did that, man, I was, I was all of these things I listed, right? I had no desires for seeking God. I had no desires for righteousness. I had no desires to read the Bible. I had no desire to um, build relationships, healthy, intimate relationships with anybody, right? Um, I had no motivation, even though I was talented and gifted. I had no motivation, you know? I was... um. Man, I was irritated a lot of the times. I felt like everything should just come easy, right? I felt like, you know, passion and, and purpose was so far gone out of me because I was so drained all the time. I had no time, right? I felt like I had no time because all I could do was think about the next fix of lust. You know, it'll breed. I was super insecure, man. I still battle with insecurity, but that has nothing to do with um, it couldn't still have, you know, residue from what I've experienced since my childhood, but I was super insecure, man, extremely insecure, you know, unobtainable, um, sexual pleasure, you know, just trying to constantly feed this stuff and it never ended, man. You wake up the next day and once it again, next day, again, 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 
over and over and it becomes it just consumes your life this is where i was at right it blinds you to humanity blinds you to what a, what you're supposed to really see in a woman it's more than her just her her physical you're supposed to see her for who she is spiritually mentally physically right all areas first you should identify her spiritually that's a big thing that happens. That's the breakthrough that happened in my life. I began to be able to identify women for their spirit when I started denying myself, when God started setting me free from the websites. You know, and like I said, a lot of the, and the last thing is the fantasy aspect of this stuff, man, where you feel like these videos you're watching should be your reality. You, you, when you're not satisfied with just watching the video, you want to make it a reality now, right? Instead of one woman, you want two women now, whatever the case may be. You know, this is why we have got to deny ourselves daily. We've got to submit ourselves to the most high, man. He's the only one that can set us free. I'm telling you, there's no doctor. There's no pills. There's none of that, man. It's the spirit of the most high God. Surrender yourself, you know, asking God to forgive you of your sins and to set you free and then do the diligent work it takes every single day. You know, it's all about endurance, man. Endurance and communication to the father. Reading his word. Every time you feel a temptation, every time you get an attack, every time that you, um, the devil tries you, taking that and saying, God, help me, right? No matter how hard it gets. Like I said, I still go through the motions every day, man, every day. But I've learned how to take every thought captive, right? I've learned how to let the spirit dominate my flesh. I've learned how to surrender to God, right? I've learned how to pray and bind and rebuke. You know, because nobody's going to be without sin. It doesn't mean, you know, once you um, start seeing the breakthroughs and stuff that you're not going to get tempted, that you're not going to go through a wet dream, that you're not going to go through an attack. That's a lie, right? Because the devil's definitely going to test you, especially when you really repent and you truly turn away. You're definitely going to get tested. And at that point in place, that's where you, it's your job to endure and remain obedient to the word of God. We need Christ. We need Christ. He's the only one that can set you free from this stuff that can begin to break this stuff off of you now you have to put in the work based on your faith in god and the power in god though you can't just sit around and expect a miracle to happen you have to do diligent work spiritual work inner work identify these things for what they are understand when you get a thought like that that's not a, that's not a, a godly thought that's not a thought that god wants you to act on that's a thought that god wants you to give to him and he'll give you you know the way out so I pray this message just encourages you out there, man. Stay strong. You know, if you're going through a cycle right now, cry out to God, man. Repent, 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 repent. Surrender. You know what I mean? And he'll begin to give you breakthrough. But like I said, it's your job to take action based on your faith in the Most High. It's your job to begin to deny yourself every day. It's your job to begin to pick up your cross and read your word. That's your job, right? And that's when God will begin to really show up in your life and show out and start to renew you and transform you. And take away all this stuff all this you won't i look at these sites now man and i and i literally like i don't understand how i was that consumed in it right because that's how much god is doing in my life that's how much god is changing my mind changing my mindset changing everything about me i look back at that and i'm like man i would i'm never going back i can't even believe i was that consumed in it it's 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 a joke it's sad honestly man when you really sit there and look at it, it's sad Thinking about you just sitting there watching other people and you're sitting in your room doing that with yourself is sad. It's demonic. It's never should be, it should never been normal, man. And a lot of us, unfortunately, we got exposed to this stuff when we were kids. Before we were even teenagers, before our brains were even fully developed, right? And the enemy knows, you know, these evil workers out here, these, these workers of iniquity, these workers of the flesh, they know. That's why there's an agenda behind it. You know, and the only way we can counteract this stuff is with the word of God, man. I'm telling you, it's through the word, it's through prayer, and it's through reading and fasting. You know what I mean? So I pray that you just get encouraged by this video. Know that you can be set free. Like I said, this is somebody, I'm speaking to you, somebody that had an addiction for 18 years, man. 18 years. A serious one. One that destroyed my life. Absolutely obliterated me in every area of my life. Right? My spirit was crying out for 18 years. But I was over here consumed in the flesh, right? And this stuff would, would destroy you. So be careful, man. Take heed. If you haven't repented, if you don't have a relationship with the Most High God, all you need to do, you know, is right where you're at. Say, Father, forgive me. I accept you in my heart as my Lord and Savior. And I want to get to know you and all that you, um, you know, have done and, and what you can do for me. You know, I repent of my sins. You know, get you a Bible and start reading and praying, man. 
and one of the one of the best ways to fast track yourself as well i'll just give you a little tip get on fasting go on an intense water fast right if you want to really see a fast track happen right there's not it's ne never going to be overnight you need to do this stuff every single day right this is a diligent thing this is a diligent work a diligent process but if you want to really start to see you know um a shift go on a three-day water fast 24-hour water fast you know however long you can go and implement this stuff after you turn away and just know like i said the minute you turn away from your sin be expecting to be tested and be expecting the temptations right because the devil doesn't want to see anybody turn to god so he's definitely going to test you and at that point in place like i said it's your job to endure 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 man take every thought captive surrender every time you feel you know like it's too much or whatever the case maybe just come to a point in place of surrender and say lord i trust you take this from me right and he'll show up for you every time man every single time he'll begin to renew you restore you transform you you know give you that confidence back give you that passion that purpose you know give you um the desire to want his word in your life the desire to want to fast the desire to want to do spiritual things again you'll begin to want to um branch out and develop friendships and relationships you'll become healthier in every area of your life man i love you guys say a prayer for your brothers out there say a prayer for your sisters and say a prayer for yourself smash the like button you already know what it is until next time man it's your boy king justice